Hello and welcome back to another Boom Beach video. Today we're going to be doing all Scorchers taking on some bases and what are we going to do? We don't know. So let's hop into these attacks. I am finally set, settled back home and I just recorded a video that's coming out the day after Christmas. So in two days or three days from today, I'm not sure, but it is Christian's birthday present to me and it I, i'm in for a surprise you guys will see tomorrow what he did but like oh i must have drooled uh you guys will see tomorrow what he did but i was not happy so stay tuned for that as we do hop into the holiday season we are going to start throwing some shocks onto these buildings that might not be able to uh that our scorchers might not be able to be able to withstand boy is talking to struggle if you guys catch my drift sometimes the words just don't flow and it makes me kind of sad. So, anyway, all of our Scorchers seem healthy except that one who's getting just bamboozled by that Scorch- or by that Boom Cannon. Man. That- oh. We got two just getting completely railed on. That is a bit unfortunate, so we're gonna do a flare back to here. We will lose one, unfortunately. So we're gonna throw a remote, uh... Uh, 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 defibrillator. Jeez, couldn't think of it, but we're gonna throw a remote defibrillator to try and distract for a quick second. That is the new ability, and that's pretty exciting. It's a temporary ability. I have not seen that one in a while, so pretty happy. And if you do not lose any troops, it just spawns riflemen, which I think is more worth it. Because riflemen are just used as, like, critter box, which is kind of nice. Because then, uh, you kind of just have a distraction on the playing field so six riflemen or uh scorchers did survive this attack so not too close but anyway we gotta save up because we need these critical fuses that we will get in two million iron so let's try and find these iron bases that are just completely just loaded so 42 energy left after we do place and then what do we have to worry about we have to worry about that shock blaster and then Nothing too much more. Uh, I do have critter spawn. I'm not sure if I wanted hack or critter spawn yet as my ability. All I know is Captain Everspark is good because it kind of sends out distractions toward the boom cannons and every once in a while the boom cannons can miss the the scorchers that are so like tanky but yet sensitive to boom cannon fire. I don't know. Is it just like a mental thing that boom cannons can do twice the damage and scorchers? Like is it morale thing? Do we need to get like a uh, a, a, a therapist in in the house to try and talk them down like come on how come they do double damage that's the only building that matters no, I'm just kidding. but anyway oh no we're very close to losing that scorcher let's throw a couple med kits onto it he said as we do try and wrap up this attack we will have to throw a remote defib so we do not lose that scorcher I am planning on losing no scorchers this attack and two are in critical uh, so, we're good. Because the riflemen, or the, uh, jeez, why can't I think of the names? The critters were just whacking on that quarters, so. You, you, you're done. <laughs> Whatever. Alright, let's hop into the next attack, try and get our... Ooh, this is interesting. Because it is a very spread out base, and sometimes that can be very deadly to the Scorcher... Uh, troop but anyway I do two of the the sky shield will be like half a prototype in my opinion and the shield generator won't really do anything so not too hard of a base I might eat those words later as I do not I cannot tell how healthy this base will be as we do try and dissect it and get into the middle of it but anyway Let's just keep spawning critters for the time being, try and get rid of, kind of distract, and then as we do approach that doom cannon, I think we can eat a couple of its shots depending on the health of our grenade or the uh, scorchers, and then I think we'll just see, okay, we're good. Let's throw a shock onto the sky shield which I think is a little bogus that we can hit it. So we're going to pop a remote defibrillator kind of behind so our troops do stay alive. But as we do 
kind of tear into this. I do not really see this as a threatening base, except for that one. We need to keep him alive with a couple med kits. Quickly heal him up. I know, I know, guys. Med kits on scorchers is a little dumb. That's like bringing a boat of medics with this strategy. It's not worth it. Dr. Kavan might be worth it, though, because he reduces uh, the damage taken by 10%. But in the long run, Captain Everspark, at least in my opinion, is the way to go for these strategies. We're going to throw down in the middle here, and then we are going to throw a shock onto the first part of it. And then a couple barrages will we'll try and take out the prototypes. We got one of them, now we just have to work on the other with two artillery darn i did not see that boom doom cannon in the front i did but i forgot about it man what is wrong with me today hmm. we did take out the far doom cannon so we are good probably gonna lose one so we're gonna throw a co can we keep them alive for the time being at least we got three scorchers in there kind of hanging on by a by a fingernail uh with that one He's going to die very soon. I bet that one sniper tower shot will take him out. But I think we're fine. Oh, that's going to be interesting. Don't take him out. Don't. Boom. He's dead. The one that I thought was... We lost two. Darn. Three. What was the third? Okay, well, Greenberg kind of put up a fight against me. I mean, not too close, but like... The front-loaded bases really work the Scorchers in a bad way, so... We're almost up to 2 million iron. That means we have a million to go before we can... Con not convert. We can trade in in the trader. No, it's definitely not converting. But there we go. Uh, let's see what we got. We got two Sky Shields in this base. Not sure if that's worth it, but... I see you, bruh. Alright, let's throw a couple shocks onto the playing field. I'm kind of just wasting energy so it doesn't stack up. We're going to throw a remote defib so we can kind of distract some of the buildings that might... Uh, that might rattle down our scorchers. Not not too bad, but uh, what are your guys' holiday plans? If you guys celebrate the holidays, whatever that would be, what are your guys' plans? Family or something? You guys just going to play some Boom Beach or watch us play boom beach for some reason oh no our three med kits did not keep that scorcher alive i am so surprised but there we go doing pretty well getting the 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 critters onto the playing field that's kind of what captain everspark is for as as the scorchers try and take out the rest of the base she just spawns a bunch of critters that mostly stay alive and just kind of at the HQ, if you guys get that. Oh no, we got like no iron in that battle. We're gonna have to change something for now. Well, we're running out of bases, so let's see. If this guy does not have over a hundred thousand, we are finding a new opponent. But this guy's good. Okay, there we go. I threw three barrages down. Oh boy, we're gonna be able to throw down all of our scorchers. Yeah, Eighteen energy left. We're good. I didn't know how much I did waste, but we're throwing a bunch of critters onto the field at first until we do save up energy. And then we got a couple weakened buildings, so we can take advantage of a shack that will disable them. And we have already lost a Scorcher. My goodness, this is whack. But let's throw a remote defibrillator into the middle. We've lost another. This base is not going to be as easy as I thought, because it seems like he is a very ice-boosted base, and I'm right. What a surprise. This is like a hammerman base though. Once we do get through it, we will we will do fine. And we gotta take out that boom cannon because that was deadly to my scorchers. They did not take that out. They just kinda zipped right by. We'll throw a couple artilleries, try and weaken the rest of the base. We're gonna shock, make sure that scorcher does stay alive for the time being. And as Captain Everspark works up the courage to spawn some critters onto the quarters, we will try and finish the rest. But this guy has full... I did not see those three. But he has a lot of damage boosted. Hmm. But anyway, 
we're good as we have two scorchers remaining we're not really worried about gold here are we no we're worried about iron and we have all the defenses that are that can be a threat to our scorchers essentially taken out and as that scorcher does turn to the quarters and kind of burn it I think that gives a little bit of passion to Captain Everspark, so she is able to finish it off with her critters and her lightning bolts that did take out Hader Hassan. So we were able to take out one of the more ice-boosted bases I've ever seen, but we did not make it to our 3 million gold goal yet, so we are going to just have to say, well, can we convert anything else? Unfortunately, no. So that's going to be it. If you guys did enjoy, drop the like. Make sure you guys go check out the, uh, the the remote defib. If you guys do not have it, that's because you're not high enough level. So keep working at it. We always get those comments, so I thought I'd throw that out there. Keep working at it. Eventually, you'll get there where you can. Took me a while. Actually, no. I was high enough by the time they started introducing this. We've been playing for a few years, so we're good. But anyway, thank you guys. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>